Tesla update here on the 8th. So I'm going to start doing more member videos more often, I think, because I feel like it's been pretty spot on the last like week or so. So if you're following this analysis, you're probably making some pretty good money or you're doing pretty well. So I want to incentivize people to subscribe to the channel. It's like $3 a month. So $36, I think most people trading can afford that. So anyway, let's get into Tesla. So it ended up making an ABC move here. It's kind of weird. Um, it looked like it hit ABC yesterday. So we had ABC down here. We hit it right here. So I was like, okay, we probably bottomed. And sure enough, we get a move higher at the start of the day. And then what happens right after that, we go down and make a new low. So what exactly was that? This was a ABC move. So this was A, this was B, and then this was C right here. So the reason I know that this was five waves down, and then this looks like a C wave of a B wave. So A expanded flat like that. And then we get the move down to a lower low, took out these stops, and then immediately reverses. So this should have been the bottom right here. And it should be headed up to at least 253. Again, stop below the low though. If it goes below the low, then that takes it out completely because we're not going to get a um, ABC move up. So it has to hold the low. This was an impulse move. This has to be an impulse move. So you can go ahead, if you're trading this, you can just put your stop below the low right here. Makes it easy too. If you get stopped out, take a small loss and then reevaluate and do it over again. So I think Tesla 253 to 258 should be coming. However, it's not moving with the market really. Up 1%. QQQ is straight up. Kind of what I was expecting in the video yesterday. Um, ABC moved down here. So I'm still looking for this to be up here. But it's gone so quick that we can look at the timing of it. It's, uh, yeah, it should take all the way to Thursday, though. So it could technically go all the way up to 494. So I'm looking for anywhere between basically like 490 and 494. <clears throat> and I think it could take up to a couple of days or up to Thursday, and it could be a first wave right here. Let's just see where. Yeah, this could be a first wave. So watch out. It could pull back here. Um, there's probably a gap this morning. There's a huge gap right here at 482.87. Don't be surprised if this falls back down and actually goes negative. So that would be, let's go ahead and put a gap there. Don't be surprised if it falls all the way back down here. What that means for Tesla, Tesla would probably make a second wave too. Not sure. Or maybe this just keeps on going and just starts like going up here like that. Um, that would be a pretty big fall. But just note there's a gap there and it's a possibility it falls all the way down there and it could end up going like this. Into Thursday. That's what I'm looking for. So I think more upside coming on QQQ, more upside on Tesla. Um, request for SMCI. Haven't looked at it lately, but um, there's a gap up here at 51 bucks. It did not hit it. This is and uh, this looks to me. The gap's up here, actually. It's at 54.58. So I would imagine there's more upside on this as well. Um, but it's down 5%. This might be some kind of like triangle, too. It's kind of weird.
all my markings got completely removed when they did the uh, reverse split or the forward split. So basically, I would just look at supply and demand. I would be looking up here at 51.43, and then down here at 43 dollars. So right here, if this comes down here to 43 bucks, I'd be buying. Up here, I'd be selling. So it's probably a buy here. Actually, I might even buy it here at 43 bucks. Now that I'm looking at it, but could come all the way down here to 41 bucks. So after that, it kind of depends. It might just be a bounce and come lower. It doesn't look very impulsive to me at all. It just looks like a potentially the C wave already ended here. Um, Doesn't look impulsive to me, but you do have to remember you have a gap up here. So I'd be buying at 43 bucks and look for a bounce from there. Coin, um, just being held up. I'm still waiting for down here. So I'm not even touching this. And you got an impulse move down. You got a corrective move right here. So I'm waiting for down here. Okay, if it comes up here to 1, 200, I'm still like, I'm not going to be buying up there. I'm waiting for this this uh, per, this pink box to be um, hit 114 to 144. Um, SYM. I'm still holding this. I'm just adding my adding to my position. Um, it could come lower. I don't really care. I mean, this might take a while to get up to 35 bucks, but very confident it's going to 35 bucks. I'm just adding little by little. It filled this gap down here at 23.10. Um, but it looks like it might come lower down here to like 22 bucks. The 0.5 Fib is here at 21.50. Could come down there too. Um, but I think this is in a five wave move, most likely. Maybe even going all the way to 35 bucks. So. We'll see what happens. I don't know when their earnings are at, but it's still good for me. I don't really care if it comes down here to 20, 21 bucks. I'll be buying more. And yeah, the analysis is it also broke or it has not broken into the first potential wave right here, but there's a good chance it could break into that on the next move up, which will probably happen um, maybe in late October. I would say maybe right around the le the election we'll find out but sim symbi symbiotic I keep on saying symbiotic symbiotic is a good buy here so I'm going to get back to the market but that is the analysis for Tesla SMCI symbiotic QQQ and coin let's see if Tesla can hold The bottom here at 240.58. It looks to me like this might end up coming back down here like this. But we'll see. And yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Let's see if we can hold 240.50 and head up to 253.